Hello. Child here. Calls me child. Dusty Rose. I go by many names, not really. I only go by a few, but still. Hey there. Been a while since I've uh, addressed you directly, but since I just finished one book and I'm about to add another, I figured it's a good time to do an update. So I and my ever-changing mess behind me have uh, finished The Four Loves. I know it has taken me a very long time to update Weapons of Mass Instruction. I kind of put it off because that last chapter, the, the like hour and 45 minute one, yeah, I saw how long that was going to be. And yeah, I put it off for a bit. But I got through that chapter, so I'm gonna try to peg through that a little, you know, more than I've been recently. Of course, the Book of Sorrows is taking forever because each chapter of that requires me to shriek, essentially, whenever Chanticleer is talking, since he's a main character. He shrieks all the time. It's just his voice, who he is. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> So yeah, it, it takes me a while to kind of work up, yes, I'm in the mood to do all the voices and all that. And I am at the vocal capacity to do all that. So uh, so for now, I will continue to peg away at Weapons of Mass Instruction and the Book of Sorrows. And now I will be adding this third book. For the third book, we're going to be doing something kind of new. Blind Read. So not only have I never read this book before, I've never read anything by this author before. He's been touted as one of the really good Christian writers. I really don't know very much about him. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to do a blind read plunge into uh, Heretics and Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. This is going to be interesting. Since I'm plunging into a book that I haven't read yet, I also thought it would be a good time to uh, bring up or refresh my policy that I'm not here to argue with anybody. And uh, I appreciate that most of you have not tried to pick a fight with me. Like, you have no idea how much I actually appreciate that. And I'm actually was surprised at which book drew the most ire. It's not the book that I thought was going to draw the most ire. But even what ire it did draw was fairly minimal in comparison with the really lovely remarks I've been getting. And I really appreciate uh, everybody who has taken the time to drop me a line, I see it all, and thank you. This is just kind of something I'm doing for fun, and I'm really glad that it helps some some of you guys out, and yeah, it just kind of makes my day. Thank you. Don't have much more to say right now, so I hope you all are doing well. I hope you have uh, a gentle day, a gentle evening, a gentle weekend, gentle week, just a gentle rest of the year. I think we all need that, yeah? A gentle rest of the year on you all. See you next time.